Hello Kirbyans! This is Gecko Rockets back with the third episode in the Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. So I was testing a, 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 a moon landing one and it just happened to work out really well. And so instead of just restarting and recording everything, I thought I'd just record off of here because I had it open. And so here's just me getting into the orbit. I did I was just kinda quickly doing it, so I didn't do a special landing. I just tried to fa find an area that was flat. But, and then I also did just tons and tons of science spam. I, I will update to 0 0.23, but I just wanted to get a lot more science before that because then after that it's a lot harder. Sadly, uh, I probably, because I didn't, don't have any of the large tanks in that, it's, I have to use the small engines and all that stuff, but nice little cinematic right there. <laughs> So here's just me time warping in. It pro the total video when I first was editing it was over an hour long, and I managed I probably shaved it down to nine minutes, which is nice. And a lot of it was the science spam, probably about half an hour of the science spam that between Minimus and the Moon. I forgot to mention that I also go to Minimus, not with this one. I was, ran out of fuel for it. So, well, I have plenty, I have enough fuel, but not enough to get back into orbit. So there will be a rescue mission within the next two episodes. If not, I'll actually send a base to them, which will be better. And so my super delicate landing. I, I prefer delicate landings. It just makes me feel better about them. Oh, this is Jebediah. Okay, Jebediah does live. Because I thought I killed him last episode. <laughs> Because I remember I killed the Kerbal. I can't remember what one, but I killed the Kerbal. That's all I know. And so, I was making mistakes of hovering, but eventually I do land. This is fairly long. And... Touchdown. For the first moon landing. I was really worried about it tilting and falling over. I wouldn't have been too happy about that. But it worked out. And so now here's me just doing my cin cinematic month sampling and EVA report. Plus a, whatchamacallit, blah blah blah, blah um, fl flag plant. It's so hard to come up with witty comments for those, I find. Like, <laughs> the only one I ever came up with was on the Minimus one, which actually was pretty witty because. Well, the CPU wasn't working on the ship and giving me wrong estimates on where my landing was. So, me struggling with typing this all out. The strong man landing. Though, we started with no plan, uh, proof. The, oh yeah, this basically me, uh, is me t talking about how the moon landing, no one, everybody questions it in real life, and so I thought I'd make a witty joke about that, assuming anyone here would actually understand it, but I guess there's nothing else you can really do about it. Though we started with no proof, this moon landing, no lies, is a legitimate, and hopefully no one will criticize it with the gist, but... Super long typing, so I'm, I, I can probably type it out in like two seconds, but I was trying to think of it at the same moment, but the only buggy thing about this is um, the curl actually clips to the solar panel, but yeah. So here's me just getting some th stuff, I got 387 science, I also spammed like for another half an hour, and that got me another like 200 or something like that. Which I got docking ports and all that stuff right away because I really wanted it because then I can actually save stuff. But then here is on to the Minimus landing. Because of the maneuver nose, they really screwed me up and they underestimated how much of a burn it would be and literally caused me to kill all my velocity and I had to land instead of because I didn't want to burn any extra fuel. And so then. It's just me going in, spamming science. But I did a, do a really unique landing. I don't do this often. I had, because of my emergency la landing, 
I did not get to choose where I landed until right the last minute. I don't know why this is taking so long. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I tried to get this thing under 10 minutes, and I did, but I, sometimes, when you're working with a program that doesn't load that fast, Windows Movie Maker, it takes a while. I, I hope to get Premiere, Adobe Premiere. I love that program. We use that school a lot for um that, but... So here we, is me dropping down here, time warping, and then realizing that I'm not going to be able to land there. So here's me just doing a whole pile of twitchy adjustments. And I landed in the perfect little flat spot. Like, this is one of the best landings I've had. Look how perfect that is. And on to my witty comment about this one, which I didn't have one. Yeah, so due to my mechanical fa um, failures, I still made it, which is quite nice. And another thing is, I realized that all my prototypes have actually made it to where they want. Like, yeah, there's like little beta testing where it, or alpha testing where it's just to see how um, the staging works and that. But once it's out, uh, once I get out, out of orbit, it tends to make it to its point. Though I don't know for when we go to do nothing that, which I figured out a technique to actually get there instead of trying to burn directly from uh, Kerbin, I will burn out of orbit of Kerbin. I I'm, I'm I think that'll work better because it's not going to work otherwise. So my epic backflip of the cur with the Kerbal Jebediah or not Jebediah Jebediah is on the mind. Bill, if I'm correct, it is, but. Using RCS to adjust myself, and then again I spam science for a little bit, and then I lifted off, got into orbit, tried to use minimal fuel, that it didn't work out the greatest. I actually got a ridiculous encounter, but then I realized I had to get on push because of the system, and then sadly. I wasn't able to save him. I paused the game and desperately, desperately tried to find a mod to get to work for, to save the Kerbal or a Bill, but no such luck. So I've killed two Kerbals in three episodes. Hopefully, I won't have any more deaths. But if I end up doing it, I didn't want to leave them out in the middle of the solar system. I didn't know where this is going to go, so. Try to see if I can slow him down enough or some something like that. I was just kind of hoping for something, some something to save him. But goodbye, Bill. Yeah. So <laughs> I I just felt so bad. I hate killing Kerbals. Like not not when I, I'm actually trying when I'm on YouTube. I really hate it, but. Otherwise, I'm just like killing three. But so I get some. Uh, I got like 425 more science for this. So bought some more items. I got that large tank, so then I could actually get some more stuff. I can't remember what I got. I think it was like um, the wheels. Yeah, the wheels. Because then now I can actually build a rover, and I'll probably send it to Jim and Dial. Because and we got probes too. I have RCS, so I can rendezvous and dock. Which is a nice feature. And then, what was I? And we got that. I can't remember what the hell I was thinking. Oh, because then I can get that stuff. I think I want to go for the nuclear engine next if I can. But yeah, on to next episode. I will hopefully be sending a couple more things to the car. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I don't kill a curl again. And see, uh, see you guys for the next episode. Probably be out by tomorrow.